And hello everyone, uh, this is Valderan and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone. So we are live on this 25th of December and uh, well for me uh, we celebrated Christmas yesterday evening and uh, had our Christmas lunch today in the traditional afternoon nap. So everything is back to normal and uh, now it's time to uh, kind of explore the universe and uh, go on from there. As you might have recalled we ended up at our new base and uh, it's still looking a little bit barren so um, we might need a couple of things but before we do that I do want to uh, have a look at the ship I did not repair so I'll start having looks at that to find out what I actually need to that was the wrong one um, what I actually need to bring that up to scratch was it that one? I think it was the other one was the fighter which we are flying around in so <coughs> Sorry about that. So let's have a little bit of a look while we wait to start up properly. Uh, it probably need a lot of the normal stuff, chromatic metal, pugnium, paraffinium, platinum, that's always a critical one. Pirate I have, I found a little bit of that last time. Uh, dark side I actually have found some of it as well so activated copper I haven't gotten but uh, that's something we will look at to find uh, so as many of the broken ones we can get away the better it is and the closer we are to actually be able to use this platinum platinum is probably going to be the the, the worst problem because it comes in so small quantities but let's see So, uh, what? Let's see if there was any. God, I have to be a little bit careful because some of the things which is needed in the base might also be what the ship is ba uh, basically needing. So, but if we don't have it, we will have to farm for it. So. That's my approach and uh, it's just a question of our time before we get where we want to get. So one thing which kind of annoys me a little bit with this room is it's so dark. The problem is I don't actually have any lamps I can put on. I put a standing light. I actually don't like them. They seem to not give much light, so we put it there. Oh, we need electricity. Big surprise! I have that up there. So you see, it's not much light. I actually feel the ones you put on the wall is the ones which gives the better option. Okay, uh, what we kind of need to look into would be that one so we can 
and that again need chromatic metal. So I put the money box with the storage up on the roof. I thought that would be cool and uh, at least it's out of my way. They always tend to take up room in in the building as well. So let's see. I have some chromatic, but not much. I have some copper. Just move a little bit around that was finished. So it's silver right now. What's that? That's also for the ship. Okay, those I'm going to save so I can make the better ones and uh, make them uh, kind of more worth than uh, this is actually um, in the situation as it is because they are only worth roughly 25,000 but when we create new ones out of them they would be 150,000 each and uh, it's actually a double of the value, so sometimes it's good to just wait for the, the next step. So I did have some activated copper. Okay, let's... Um, we have the ship on, so... We don't have enough paraffinium. That's one thing which really is annoying, because uh, many planets have it, but when you farm it, you come out with like almost nothing and uh, so even though it's not worth anything it can be quite difficult to find activated uh, copper uh, sometimes it's advertised it's on the planets Sometimes if you're on planets which has normal copper and they are in uh, one of those very hard condition ranges, uh, you might find it there as well, even though it's not advertised. But the safe bet is always going for what's advertised. Otherwise you can run around a long time on the planet without actually getting anything out of it so I need to make some more chromatic metal and uh, then platinum and paraffinium is kind of the important things to get that repaired so I'll do that I know I've been stupid with my dolls and things in this space, but I am a little bit uh, still, is this really what I want? Didn't I put a... Didn't I put a large refiner here? Hmm, doesn't look like it. Well, then I will need to use the transportable one, a portable one. So sorry for that, uh, wasting some time with this, but uh, it's better to get it over and done with, and then we can concentrate on the more important things actually following the storyline and get on with that and uh, then go out and uh, find our way through the universe hopefully so
waves seem a little bit noisy today, but uh, I hope that's okay. I know this uh, refining stop is kind of tedious, but it's one of these things you you kind of have to do it if you want to get on with the game because. Even though you can go out and find uh, chromatic metal on the planet, but uh, it would be um, you have to to farm rocks and uh, uh, it, it, it would be so little, and it would take so such a long time. So. That's uh, <coughs> that's really there is there is some of the materials that it is more feasible just to to refine it. Um, I have mentioned this before, and I do not really go and grind too much. I do sometimes take a, a, a trip with my ship, and uh, that is. Uh, something a little bit different so let's just put those on which needed the metal and uh, then the question is if we should go and try to um, some of the things we need while we actually follow the storyline. Um, I might have uh, been a little bit silly because I probably should have saved enough chromatic metal to uh, build the dam construction set uh, so I could hire that guy oh. I need such a fault okay so what I will do is I will change the um, to the other to the fighter again and uh, that's actually parked on next to the house here and then try to find some copper so I can build that that uh, must be the first uh, little step today so this is supposed to be a paradise oh, well it is a paradise planet so we should not run into anything uh, unpleasant, but um, in this game there is no guarantees of anything. So we should be able to find some copper somewhere. Uh, we might have had it around the base, but oh, there's a house. Let's see what that is. Always good to know who your neighbor is. Maybe they will uh, provide us with a cup of coffee or something. It is after all Christmas. It's kind of funny if you when you find a place uh, my extra suit is very cool um, when you find a place and build a base then not just after that you find multiple places which you feel is actually much better um, this looks better that looks better 
Yeah, well. That's how it is. So, I'm just going to put some of the stuff on the ship. Just to make sure I have enough space to actually pick up whatever I find around when I'm on foot. So, this is an abandoned one I can see there is Whispering X. Uh, could bomb some of them for coins. I don't know if I really want to spend time with that now. Silver, the silver. Oh, that's parapinium. So that would be the first one. Silver, parapinium, silver, and there is copper. So it's actually on the route back to the base, but uh, now I'm always look up and see what's on the top side of the room. There is hazard plants which has a, a tendency to hang there and wait for you. Probably won't kill you, but uh, it's still annoying to get damaged. Just check whether the text come up on the screen fine. I can see it does, so that's good. There's some theories who wrote those logs we keep seeing in these machines. Uh, something we will talk about later. I'm not giving any spoilers because uh, I think that it's important you discover those things in the game yourself, not literally get it from me all the time. You will get some of it, of course, as we progress through. Oh, that's one of the nice ones. Yeah, it didn't get us, we got it. Always, always. I am the more cautious uh, person. So when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, did someone experiment or something here? Or is that just these who have grown into the tube? Sometimes more questions than there is answers, but that's what makes games interesting. So I will fly a little bit closer to the resource we are going for. Sometimes you see something and you need to react. What is that? That is copper. What did I need? Oh, well, I need it. Is it the magic mess? So, let's at least get the cover while we can. That is going to be useful for that. Didn't see much cover on the scans. Uh, 
Like I said, every little helps. That is absolutely true, especially in the games like this one. So why do I want to go to the top here? Because it gives me the best visibility. So. Just a little trick when you are on new planets is find a high point and then scan around you. Then you can get oh what's that? An animal I hadn't scanned. Handy. Uh, then you can get an overview of what am I actually seeing around? What is there? What do I need? And then either plot a route or go somewhere and get what you need and then call your ship. That's going to be my plan here. So. Ooh. I love jetpacks make you come quickly down but you actually have to adapt it so you don't kill your shell not that I think you would but uh, I actually think you would if you're not careful oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. wake up here that is Not okay. two on top of each other. It didn't tell me that when I scanned. Or did it? Huh. Well, I'm not going to say no thank you because this is one thing which is always good to have in stock, especially if you want uh, to chase different types of ships uh, which has been placed on, uh, crashed to planets I actually do that a lot any free ships has uh, money in the bank so to speak and uh, if you want to have the really cool ships then you need to to earn your money one way or another and uh, kind of restoring the the broken ones and sell them is one way uh, then you just need to get them flying really but sometimes you get one which is actually cool and you want it and then you repair it off and uh, I actually want to have one of each class uh, type uh, not class one of each type of ships and uh, I want them all as S class but I know you are not going to get that from the beginning that takes time because many of those would be around 30 million coins to make a swap with someone. So 
So either you start grinding money one way or another, or you just continue playing the game and uh, see what you get when you get it. I'm most of the time rather uh, patient with things. I know that I can't get everything today. And, uh, that's absolutely fine. I feel that's a little bit better to actually have to work for the things. And it makes you feel better in the end when you have grind it to, to get something, whether it's, it's coins or materials you grind for it. What are you doing down in the hole, little friend? So many mouse has a tendency to jump down in the holes you make, and uh, now it's just pixel animals, but uh, I don't really want to hurt them either, unless I have to. So, that was uh, some good holes I forgot to make there. <laughs> uh, what's actually further on Do things that I will call our ship I'm a little bit lazy right now. Go to the base, make that um, construction. can hire a overseer. This is something we really need. Nah, not, not as such, but it is part of the storyline. So let's just follow that down the line and see what actually comes along with that. Is this the best place uh, to put a base? No, probably not. I have a tendency to park in the building anyway, but I'm avoiding that this time. So, I almost parked on the one I need. Not much copper I got, I don't need that much. It's supposed to be two to one. So it should make one more. It's not everything which is like you expected, so so we should have enough to build that. He can live in this corner. So, before we do that, I'm actually going to 
have a little look and see if I can research it from here. Uh, doesn't look like it. And I will have to go to the Nexus to... I was thinking about the light panels and that and put a little bit of light in. Would look better. So let's go to space and... Uh, no. Let's empty our pockets first. That, uh, I know I could probably do some repairs on the Starship, but it's absolutely no rush. I already have these on my Starship. I don't have a lot of crap I don't really need, but the uh, thing is, when you need it, then you might be too far away. Still holding them as clusters until I need them because it, 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 you need at some point uh, tritium hyperclusters and if you, then you don't have them. So I'd rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them because you, I, I don't know how to go the other way. So few. This game is very r realistic sometimes. Very realistic. Well, let's go get up in space and then actually I don't think I ever looked what else was in this system. station is the one I haven't scanned yet. Hmm. Glad for this uh, pulse drive, so you don't have to sit and wait now to get to things. Uh, if any of you have uh, ever played the, the old school Elite, that was like that uh, in, in the dawn of time. You just sat there and waited and waited, and it could take half and whole hours until you actually reach the point you wanted to go to. And yes, you could get things like the pulse engine there as well, but uh, it was not as common as it is here. You have to find the space station where you actually could buy it and so on. So, 
those guys uh, to hire some of them always is in this room it's just the overseer is a gig so This was not the right one, so I just do the normal things, uh, chit-chatting with him, learn a word, and uh, I always also try to practice the language because if you get it right, you might get something for free. And as you by now know, I love getting things for free. Everything I don't have to pay for. Hmm. What is trade related here? Most races don't like when you talk to them about the name of their race or... I don't even know what a Sinti gig is. Friends? Yeah, that wouldn't bring you anywhere. Units is probably the trade word here. So let's try that. He gave me a gift, so a neutron microscope. Okay, that's uh, that's not bad. So this is the guy who wanted to be hired. Well, he tells me he already, he's already hired, and someone paid for him. I wonder if that's Apollo who actually... Um, had paid for him, I don't know, but we'll find out. So, he will come and live on our station. Good. So, we have something to sell. Checking. So the Newton microscope 5000 is not lot, but uh, it's all right. Do we have anything on the ship? We have that. And that one. I'm still keeping it to till I meet a repository. Could sell out other things, but uh, I don't find. I'm not buying wine looms here. Um, I'm not finding it so important to actually sell. Well, not all the time. It, it's. I kind of rather want to have the things if I need them. And you can say, well, that's. TV, you need storage for it all and yeah that's absolutely right but if I have the storage it's not a problem if I don't have the storage well then it could potentially be a problem but I'm kind of not really going down that route because if I don't have space yeah then of course I would uh, start selling some of, of it and uh, but it, it's not where I make my the most of my money. So we could take the plane and fly down or we can take the teleporter and find the teleporter a little bit easier. Basis. I haven't uploaded a picture from it, but uh, I will uh, when we come down. I kind of find that uh, having pictures on then it's easier to find your way around. Um, especially when you start having multiple. 
you can actually move around and take the picture like you like it uh, and you upload it there we go so didn't I build that? Didn't I buy that? Oh, I didn't have one. Okay, this guy would then not be living on our base and uh, he will from time to time give you some tasks. I don't know. Uh, whether. it brings anything far because I must admit on my main one I did abandon my base building quite a lot uh, until a certain point so he's stuck on one of my early bases and I don't really get there a lot so this might actually be a joint um, venture to see where this actually can bring us so he wants chromatic metal okay. so would it be enough to take what we have up there I do not know do we have uh, 24 of them? Might not be enough. So we don't have much cover. We have activated cover, but I'm not too keen using it all. Um, so let's let's go out and see if we can find some cover. I will check whether there's any close by. I don't think there was, but uh, silver. Parapinium. Now I told you that parapinium is uh, sometimes annoying, then uh, it pops up everywhere. Hmm. Oh, no, Fuck. Be careful what you hit when you fly to fly around. Yeah. That's why I don't really trust things around my face because I have normally already taken it, so... I think we need to take our... Starship and uh, go search for... some copper somewhere. thing is, you never know what direction you need to go to find things. I do tend to, when I see those buildings, actually just investigate them and see what they are, what take the nanites, uh, take The, the claim on this side or, or this discovery of it this uh, looks a little bit dodgy
in that or is it equal to the other one? Hmm. That's something we'll have to find out. This indicates I have not been here. How do you pronounce boxes? Again, those whispering eggs. could farm them but uh, it doesn't make good viewing. If anyone wants to see how they are farmed feel free to write in chat and uh, say I would like actually to, to see how can you farm them safely then I'll be happy to do it. And I forgot to look. Just went for the terminal. Terminal always give you uh, nanites in the end. To my knowledge, but uh, might come other things as well. There's other things, so let's uh, scavenge around. Yeah, that's probably more correct uh, for me as a player. I'm a scavenger. I do scavenge everything I can. So it puzzles me. This is quite a big building, but oh, well, there you are. Got me. It's a big building, but you can't access all of it, and uh, that's always something I found very suspicious. What is it I can't access? I kind of want to do that, but uh, I have not found a way doing it. Certain places you come in and uh, you can use those keys to actually get further into it, but this one doesn't even have a door. So we're using two of the rooms out of, what about all that down there? We can't access it. Why? Well. That is just... Someone is messing with our minds, or at least with mine. Uh, technology, copper. Copper. I'm just looking at the distances and uh, I'm going to take the first, the nearest one first. the nearest one and we can do that by foot. I tend to not doing it by foot on hostile planets unless it's relatively near because I 
don't want to be caught in a storm or something and don't have proper hazard protection so it's really always a question about be safe uh, as I said several times I'd rather be too safe than uh, to die Im immaturely and I still die in between it's not like I but that might be my noobiness sometimes uh, take over and uh, yeah and planets they found. I never really encountered any of them. But it is the log of the draw because as you saw I found one earlier that was 60 copper you know something like that. Uh, theoretically not not even enough to make a proper copper wire for your internet. Okay, how much did I actually come out of it? 739. Uh, what's that? They are all, oh, always worth taking a look at. Well, something here I hadn't. Scanned. Where? Where? Where you go? Hello. Thing is, you sometimes catch something with your aim, and uh, ah, that. And I do want to get as much coins as I can from each planet because that is, in the end, a very good income to have. Runaway mode, that's very very good, but there's only two, that's not much. Oh. So, they will run away, just make sure you stay with them, and you get a nice portion. Don't hit your ship with them, no, it will just stop. Okay. They will end up giving me their nights, so not too shabby. So where was the order? So there's a trading post. That's nice to know as well. I think there was loads on this planet. I think I did find three or more when I flew over it before I made the base which is sometimes handy to have one close by and you can actually go and uh, if you want to sit and look for better ships and hope uh, some comes by there As I said a couple of times, you will need loads of coins before you do that. So, another copper deposit. 
doesn't look as big as the other one, but it's fine. And I, I will give loads of cover over time. It's just a thing which, when you need it, you don't always have it at hand, which is annoying. So, it's actually a nice view from here. Oh, I should of course have built my base here with this view. So... You can see what the ships are, even though they are flying, that's a whole lot. They were all sea, so... Hmm. Maybe not the most useful, but that's fine. I do not expect much in the start area, uh, which I regard the place we are in here still being. So for some reason my... Health was down, I don't know why. Maybe I've been too careless with my jetpacking. Wouldn't be the first time either. So, why is one plane? So let's go and fly back to the base and uh, make that chromatic metal for our overseer so he can make a science terminal and then we'll have to go and find a science officer uh, which would be a coax. See that's why my health doesn't always last long. planet which have life or had life some of it is abandoned but it's actually practical um, even though I'm not farming those whispering eggs now I can do it later if I, I really want uh, to to get them either for the nanites or for uh, the coins so but in the beginning, and uh, if you're careful, it's a good way of, of start getting coins. So. I still have to use that until I do. But let's make some chromatic metal for our little friend inside, print inside. It's actually the storyline, follow that. That teaches you a lot of the basic stuff with the uh, building, with uh, interacting with the aliens, um, what type of missions you can be exposed to. So if you're new to the game, it's a good way of, of getting um, the, the habit of doing these kind of things. If you're experienced, then you might skip it all along until uh, it reaches a point where you feel that's, uh, that's actually okay. So why is it not counting? That is... Uh, okay, it did. I'm going to make a little bit more. Um, it's it's something I I will need so much of it uh, over time. And also, there's some of the machineries which uh, need it. 
a thing. Giving it to him, getting the science console, then go back to space again. We'll go to the Nexus, uh, just do a run through the uh, getting some stuff and uh, maybe see if, if Nada want to talk to me. I don't know if I have a pointer to go to him, but uh, I think that's uh, the next few steps we will need to do. <coughs> Feel free to use the chat if you have any questions. I'm, I'm happy to answer anything I know, and uh, if I don't know it, we might be able to find out together. No, it's Christmas Day for some people, so I mean, he's sitting watching. Some might even think it's sad playing computer games this day, but uh, I mean, you should, of course, uh, take care of your family first. So he says that my child paid many years from now, okay, in the future. I would have to say thank you to my child who did this. So now I can build the. need some. Another mission which will bring to a storage container. I actually think I have that, but uh, no one. He can, and uh, I'm going to say this he can ask you things which uh, might bring you a little bit out of your comfort zone. Uh, because it, it's sometimes uh, places where there's actually um, sentinels which is guarding it and you, you will have to fight it. So. <coughs> this aside for now. However, I'm tempted to run these through, so then, uh, I do that. <coughs> Sorry. I do that in the end of the stream as usual, because um, then I don't sit and do that while we are having kind of a good time. So, building the science console, terminal, sorry, I think he can stand here next to the gig, and we will actually have to find him in space somewhere. See, I got the storage container, so he would give me some of these, it's not overly important for now. Um, I was thinking I could make that, then I have it. Um, I can make one more, no problem. Between 
if I use it, you can see it has two slots. So I can start mixing things. So if I want to make sodium nitrate, I can either put sodium in as it is and it comes out every two sodium will become one sodium nitrate but you can also uh, mix things mixing sodium and carbon it then turns in one to one so two of these will actually be two of these or you can mix with oxygen and that's the same thing. I normally use oxygen and sodium if I want to create any because it's it's a cheaper option. It's something I get all the time without actually have to, to make a big effort to, to grind it. It it's all around you when you're out. It's the same with carbon, so you, you, you could use carbon or you could use oxygen and you can mix these things and so it becomes a little bit better and the, the, the better option is um, sometimes what you really want, you want to have um, that little edge. If you fuel things with sodium, sodium nitrate takes less then it takes sodium and, and so on. So I just showed this as an example because I, um, I'm, I'm personally not fast because I have everything very often at hand or I try to have. There will always be something I'm a little bit low on and that's quite normal. But it was just to show that, the, and then again, there's also other things. Did I still have copper out? No. So, I can't, that's the annoying thing with storage thingies. But the thing is, besides, can't I like, get it from inside anymore? Some combination you make that's activated, that's normal. So, if you mix the proper thing you come out of it, then you can actually now what each one of these will give two copper so you can actually create more of what you have it would go the other way as well but that that's uh, that's one other way to to use the refiners i hope that makes sense so Need a co work space station. This is a gig system, isn't it? Yeah. So we need to go somewhere else. That's okay. Uh, and he wanted me to visit a site to get some information. So let's see if that's close by. No, the only map I have is for okay. Sometimes you actually have to uh, put. 
put them on here and then go out and then it will show so search in a building where normally it comes up and show you where to coordinate okay stop being impatient I know that's uh, so there is the building or around here is the building might be an approximately I always try to see if I can find it with the ship because I have been sent to places where it was swarming with sentinels however one thing when there's whispering eggs it's abandoned so that's normally normally a good sign doesn't mean that uh, you don't have to be a little bit careful but uh, so I'm going to check if I've been here before. I have. Nothing dangling from the roof <laughs> ceiling. So now you see that something else is happening because these terminals actually react as what you are sent to do. So if you do it again. we got was enough so I've been here so I have already taken everything I needed so now we have two choices go back to the base and give to him what he wants uh, and then go out and find more in space think he comes with anything else now if don't hit the trees it will harm you oh dear I'm not going to land because I'm going to be attacked Oh, what 
upgrade is, but as we already seen, it actually can punch a little bit of it. No rewards. Hmm. too bad on that barrel. Uh, I have been lucky with some of the finding uh, abandoned ships. So, oh. couple more than I oh it, it says nine so I've got them all which is cool but now yeah he's telling me to get the, the science uh, help on and that is I agree on that I'm a little bit concerned he called me friend but uh, oh well so, as we're wintering out in space, I will put everything I don't need to have with me up there. No, I don't because it's full. and then see if we can walk to another system which is a co-work system and uh, find the science guy oh dear I need to have a already built that. Not yet. Um, you can get a regenerating launch thingy. So while you're not using the, the ship, it, it will regenerate. Let's see if I can actually get that at the Nexus. No. It, uh, oh, it's an endless interface. I don't want that now. Don't I have a... Burr, 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 burr. Don't I have a Nexus there? I might not actually have So the 
Nexus is a very important hub to get upgrades to all your gear and the, your base. So it's also a place of uh, nanite income when you have dumb stuff around. Fortunately, later in the game, you might not get much out of these guys because you are not really exploring new things. Especially the other one, which one's milestones. As you have gotten them all in game, it might be uh, limited what you actually get from him then. Well. I do think I had some milestones, so I should get a look. The thing is, you get traditionally way more milestones, achievements in the beginning of a game than you get in, in the later one. There is of course some which is a little bit difficult. Get. I'm not going to use this guy until I have food stuff. So go in and get some of the stuff I want. <coughs> the one I want. So these <coughs> but so sorry my voice <coughs> voice has gone stupid. Get some bit of drink sometimes help. <coughs> so these were the one we got all for free, which is actually good. Uh, I want not to break free. I want, I want, I want. I want something stupid. I actually want that one. So I need to assess the lantern. Which is useless. But the white light <coughs> is the one I feel is giving the best light. Or the ceiling light. So let's take those for now. And then we can put up some lighting. I have an extra suit upgrade here. Yeah, good. Uh, really lagging space up here. So we actually have to, to just fill, fill up there. Is there anything I feel I need here now? Can't remember. Uh, well everything which is left is actually useful but 
at some point. So, I actually think I will take these. Just so I have them. that uh, making your weapons better is important and, and I do not disagree but until you get proper spaces on, on your multi-tool and that takes a very long time till you get there you see I got a B1 with uh, a number of slots these uh, place javelin and uh, I'm going to build on that and, and it, it will come it will come so I'm not going to replace mine which is better with this one so is there anything here we should uh, be taking I've got the solar mirror I need that for one of the things I must admit, I do not use these a, a lot, but it is of course handy, you can build certain things. You see glass I got for free from uh, my guy in the, in the base, so um, that actually saved me some. Um, nanites there, and uh, that's that's good. I, I I think I'm just going to. Actually, I think I will take two of these because the next time we can start producing these ourselves. And they take three, which each cost 25,000, or sells for 25,000, to make one which sells for 150. So, that is a good business. I'm not going to do anything on the extra craft yet, because I'm not going to, to build that up until later anyway. Checking if they don't want to talk to me. So as a warning, using the portals, well, <coughs> Neda doesn't seem to be too keen on players using their way around might be explanations to that later. So, do I actually have enough warp juice to go somewhere? Uh, we will have to have anything immediately I can make how much do I need I need an um, antimatter uh, uh, well, housing to make another one so 
I like to have some juice because the more juice you have, the, the more you can full, use your full potential. The more you use your full potential, the further around you can get. That's logic. So we need a coax system. to go there is why keen can't go to the next one is too far kick kick wrong color sun why keen Oh, well, let's just jump to the next one and see. <coughs> I know it's not the correct one, but then we'll have to make another jump. So, yeah, we come into a battle. Careful, I don't do as I did last time. Where are they? They're out of range. Why do I want one which is out of range? It doesn't make sense. Teaching and taking ship, yeah, I will. <coughs> when they are hiding behind the traders because you can easily hit the wrong things and uh, in some systems you might actually get into trouble with it I did suddenly have sensors after me because I shot at the wrong thing and uh, It's uh, literally shite when that happens. You are helping someone and then you get punished by uh, some authority which uh, actually don't have any authority over you. Go. They are all dealt with. Just going to do this immediately so I don't forget it because sometimes other come by. Let's talk to the captain. Yeah, I will happily talk. I don't have a freighter yet, so uh, this might be a good option to get that. Not sure what he called my mother, but uh, let's find out. So, where is she? He's there somewhere. Is that the one? No, it's not. It's. 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 Be that one. <laughs> the 
big problem is always to find where to fly in to actually dock with them. It's one thing I struggle a lot with, but I've been told I'm not the only one to uh, need to look for some light blue boats. Problem is, I might actually be trying to take the wrong freight on myself. Where is your hose? Is that, that straightforward? I think it is. Very happy it's uh, doing the landing sequence on its own automatically because uh, I'm not sure I would have been able to hit anything in that matter. It's still a sea ship, but actually, I think I will just take it. I'm going to take a look at it. Oh wait for another one. No, 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 I'm a little bit undetermined. Uh, maybe we should just wait. Well, let's take a look at it at least. It <coughs> Most advice is wait until you are offered a free uh, S1. And it does make sense because this one it's not looking overly cool but if you see one you think oh that is absolutely the coolest trade I ever seen yeah then claim it but uh, otherwise I would say wait until you get a proper one offered with uh, is more valuable for you. It is again about making money and uh, I'm asking him for some payment. As always, getting a lump of gold. I find that a little bit funny that it's used as payment. It is much more valuable things around, but uh, I won't. So as we're in new system, I'm going to do my normal things, getting s to the spa start space station. English motherfucker, do you speak it? Uh, that is going to be one of my first things. There. and uh, get my exosuit slot and see if there is any upgrades which is useful. If you notice I very often stop, uh, stop or slow down just before the space station. I have actually, when my shield was down, come in with the too high speed and hit the corner and uh, actually crashed my ship. So, just a warning. Ships, did they fly off? No. That one is a exotic one. Oh. 41 million. Oh, why don't I? Oh, he's flying off. I was going to have a look at it, but uh, exotic ships. Uh, well, note made that uh, they are on this space station. So. I'm 
going to take a photo so you can in the video see the uh, address of this system if you want to camp out for uh, certain ships then uh, I'm going to do it like this because um, then you can pause the video and see where it is I'm not going to camp on this one uh, That's not uh, the purpose we do yet on, on this one. We need to follow the storyline and, and get further into the game. And have some much more uh, coins, so yeah. That's uh, especially the, the important thing. I actually have to put more things up here because I'm actually running out of lacking space for upgrades so I'm wasting a little bit of coins doing so but so life support module is actually one thing which I think I can use if not then I'm just being stupid So that gives me a little bit longer life. I'm looking for the spaceship ones as well. Um, a hyperdrive module that is in launch thruster. I'm actually going to take these two because. Boat will be very, very beneficial. This is always about not having too much um, you you so you don't need too much fuel when you you leave the planet and. Uh, the other one is giving you further range on your hyperdrive. I'm just going to put it there now. So, and it gives more efficiency with the uh, warp cell as well. So, see, the range suddenly turned up to 350 light years. That's not bad. What did we get in that box? A walker brain. Ooh, that is possibly useful later. We need that for certain upgrades. So, good, good. I am not unhappy with that. So, let's get some nanites. It very often turns into certain uh, routines when you get around a space station. You do the same things, and I mean, when you're sitting playing, you actually end up doing it without thinking about it. So sometimes I'm sitting when I'm sitting and playing on my own. I'm actually. Uh, just doing these things without thinking and, and, and uh, then it goes around the space station do all these things uh, talk to some people I always try to talk to a couple each station um, more to, to actually work on, on the language and uh, hopefully the standing with the, each race but also it gives 
very often uh, certain uh, lucky uh, handovers because they give you something uh, which you can use. Viking station always have two nanite dispensers. That's why they are better than Korax and Kick station. So always remember that. But I will say I don't find one race better than than the others. Uh, they all have their own little charms. Oh, I got that uh, when I saved the freighter. Okay. These are handy when uh, we get our own. Very handy. Uh, anything I need to sell? Don't think so. No. It all looks fine. Uh, this guy in here, you can start doing missions with him at some point. I'm not too keen yet because you will get into it later. But you can see what comes out of it. You get some standing with. Uh, maybe the Vikings or the Merchants uh, Guild or the Explorers Guild. So, and you can see what you you get out of it. <coughs> Problem is sometimes, so say, take a tourist silhouette, take a photo on a strange world. That world can be far away, and uh, take you very far out of your way. But uh, if you get bored, these kind of things is, is uh, handy. So always remember just to open this so it's uh, open to your network. bit of, of the planets there might be some materials which is useful copper dioxide so it's a very cold planet dioxide is something we need a lot of so I'm actually tempted same with uranium It's not high value, but uh, it's kind of things which is good to have. That looks hot. Nuclear planet. And it has aggressive sentinels, so that's not really one of the places I want to go. Yet. Eventually, I actually. And here is ammonia on a poisonous planet. So, did we scan that one? No. Uh, paraffinium, we have that on our base planet. So, Let's see what life is like on a poisonous planet. If I remember right, it's uh, quite spectacular. Object of interest found. Okay, so we're going to say hello. Trade. Okay, 
give him some carbon nanotube tubes that uh, gave me plus two in standing. That is not a um, bad trade. Actually, going to harvest a little bit of these. Tritium, I would like so. That's a no. I can't see any. You might be thinking, what does he mean? He can't see any. Um, platinum is normally, it's not 100% sure. But they are normally like crystals uh, sitting in a certain shape or form. I don't see any of them. I might be blind today. Get loads of silver, so of gold as well. Nothing is not useful one way or another, but it, you can choose to grind for a long time, you can choose to take a short one. That was the wrong one. Where did it go? That's uh, not the poisonous one. That's the one with the... Uh, the ice bomb one? Where's the other one? Is that underneath it? Have I drifted a little much out of shape? You know what? Then we take the ice bomb first because I don't... I want some dioxide. Like a little hot or something. Uh, that's nice. It's a building that way, so let's see what that is. <coughs> On many. Oh, On many uh, hostile planets. The buildings is actually quite useful, especially if you don't have high-level uh, hazard gear yet, because you can always go into the buildings as well as, as, as other things. So.
It gives me 10 minutes survival, okay. Oh, that's an animal, okay. Catch how many animals there was on this planet. Six, okay. That's not a lot. Service container. Turns dark very quick and freezing. Oh dear, I missed there was a storm. So can uh, choose to stay in the house and uh, enjoy this cold weather outside. It would be nice with a little fire or something, but uh, it's, not, it's still cold outside, I would say, but uh, just being a little bit naughty and just ignoring it for now. Uh, what's the worst that could happen? Well, I could die. And at least someone gets some entertainment out of the stream. <coughs> I read somewhere that uh, most people sitting watching gameplay and streams are just waiting for players to die. Oh, that's far away. What on earth? Are you aggressive? It's a little bit difficult to see what you actually have in front of you when... Oh, I think I'll go in and take a cozy wait a little bit. Worst part is when you look out, it looks absolutely fine. Not sure I like those animals with has tentacles. It looks uh, a little bit uh, like another game. So while I wait, I will fill up my different stuff. Then it's done. Sometimes the storms takes a very long time. Well, while we wait for that to end up, I'm going to take a short uh, bathroom break. So, be with you in a second. Wow, well, a minute's time.
Let's see how the weather has turned. Huh? It's a little bit better. It's hot now. It's only 56 degrees minus. However, I can last a little bit longer then. Mutant plant. Uh, not going for that right now. I want to find what I'm coming for. I do take these when they are close by. Hmm. It's a little bit funny weather here in Britain because uh, when we're hearing about America with minus 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and uh, we had some days here where it was uh, minus 8, 8, 9, so it was relatively cold. Now it actually have switched almost 20 degrees because it was 12 degrees today and uh, you come out walking the dog and it's actually warm. It didn't feel cold whatsoever and it feels a little bit warm sitting with the computers on because they do emit a lot of heat and this room is not the biggest. So if I'm starting looking a little bit sweaty or anything, that's the reason. I saw birds, birds, watch the birds. I only need one animal, don't I? Would be nice with some nanite boost that was not expected from here. There we go, six out of six. That counts as a milestone as well. What am I looking for? Oh, dark side. Uh, I actually want to see what those salvage containers are. With that uh, launch, uh, Starship launch trust uh, I installed, then I'm nearly always sure that it can come when I call it because it recharged while in sun. At least that's how it's supposed to work. Is it true it does? Well, It does seem to work better than many other things. Uh, and uh, stretch your launch fuel quite a bit. So I'm curious what the, this is. Gotta be kidding. Attacking me or what? You are. I'm not ready for that. Uh, there's a 
little bit mini. So, two day, two day. I just leave. Okay. Yes, I'm a pussy. I run. Uh, I thought there was only one. Then I realized there was. Uh, well, I saw at least three or four. So also, oh no, that's. And if I attack them, will they call more waves? And uh, how long will it go on? And my weaponry is not up to that scratch yet so sometimes it's better just to run there, building, building statement it doesn't look much like a building to me so I came here to get dark side and I haven't gotten in yet this is one of these situations with uh, typical side tracking which uh, I'm very good at Um, the deposits you find is those you are not overly interested in but the, the one you're interested in you don't find until you found one then they will come in high numbers and this is an interesting one an ancient I am going to ignore the weather again even if it kills me have a number of language stones which is minus hundred Jesus where is the main one for the stones that up here yeah. um, Okay. 
Mitchell area. Yeah, yeah. Locate the portal. Yes, please. That is not a bad thing. Can't use the portal yet. But knowing where they are. Tend to do. I actually don't know if I can yet. Flying is not really needed. So we found a portal. Don't recall we've been told to find one. to do but I yeah oh I got it. The metal plating. Well that's not very nice around here. Okay. So I tend to place Something like this, a safe beacon, because I can actually see that from space. And then I do another thing. So if I try to activate it, I'll be told to fill these out but theoretically I don't know the clips yet uh, boom, 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 boom. where are they they must be Also groups. I have one. So until I actually know the rest, I can't really go anywhere. Uh, I will be told at some point to go to one and uh, activate it, but I'm not going to waste a lot of resources right now to do so. So I'm going to leave my safe beacon here because that is kind of useful, I can see it from space. Uh, 
that fights in the quantum dioxide. Still not sure with those animals. They are a little bit scary. Actually they are very scary. Well, what does it actually say about them? Friendly. They're friendly. Well, maybe we should uh, be friends with them. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Dark side, again, it's one of these things when you find it, always take a little bit with you. Not something you want to run out of. It's used for some of the repairs on the spaceships. It's uh, actually something which you use in certain contexts for uh, fueling stuff. So it's it's good to to have some in. If you notice now, I got a star down there and that's my safe beacon and that will show from space as well that's nice. I'll take that as well hopefully the weather will permit me to keep it fine Sometimes unpredictable where you end when you use your jetpack. Uh, what is that? Oops. It's cold. So, frost words gives you frost crystals. Oh shit. More Blizzard. I say Blizzard is another company. And uh, yeah, well, should be jo joking with that. Now I got him into the unpredictable one again. But that's what makes life interesting. Things not doesn't always go as you expected. If it did all the time, you would be very bored. Oh God. Thank you in your own time. I'm freezing to death here, so uh, don't hurry or anything. Well, at least then we've got to get what we wanted. I was just telling you that uh, it fuels up. It does need some. One thing I forgot to do at the portal. Where did that go? It's that way there. Was I normally take a take a screenshot because that has the address on So I do think it's it's all about taking the opportunity to use the game as good as you can. Go to mode. Uh, 
on a little bit. Change height. There we go. And you see the address is down in the corner. So again, um, if you pause the video, you can see it if you want to come to this planet. It's very cold here, so I don't know if that is any, any benefit. I'm all from this planet. I actually found all the animals, so what I will do, I will say thank you to a little bit of extra nanites for it. Sentinels, I'm staying away from that. That's where we just were. I was looking for the one with ammonia. Where are you? Are you there? Well, sometimes you need to get closer. That's the one with ammonia. So that was actually the one we were going to. So, from cold to poison. Hmm. 850,000 units for a relic, or 300 oxygen, or one Viking dagger. I need these to hand out to get the portal, so I get them the oxygen. So he sold me something. What is it worth? One hundred forty-two thousand. So I'm glad I didn't give him eight hundred thousand. scammed and he would have been gone before I could say cheat or anything. So what is a poisonous planet? Well, it's another planet which will try to kill you if you're not careful. Trying to find some ammonium, and that's really what the only thing I want here. It's uh, one of the weird things with this game is that uh, it will have quite a while life. But I guess that's human ignorance, ignorance which actually comes into play because who am I to actually know whether there would or wouldn't be anything evolving on, on other planets than, than we know about. This is a good place to land and take a check. Uh, lethal atmosphere, how long can I survive? That's always the first thing to look at, 10 minutes, so let's just do some basic scans. to see how many animals there is, so 
six. We might be low. It's sodium, copper, sodium, sodium, ammonia, sodium. A tiger with wings. It's a flesh eater, so might take a bite of you. Quite a lot of wildlife, ammonia close by, so that's what we will go for. I don't have overly I don't have overly much uh, protection against the poison here, so <coughs> it's kind of about to get it no and done with as fast as possible. Much there is here, but uh, every little helps. I do need ammonia to build some of the protections against different things. What does it look like? No, it's not. Okay, anything else nearby? Curious about the floating crystals, but a little bit nervous to get too far from where I have my ship. So, Be cautious over. <laughs> uh, it's like the herd mentality you see something running and then there's a, what the, a whole herd coming running and uh, you're wondering should I run as well. to do. Hmm. Looking for a coax scientist, a coax system really. Oh, this a transmission tower. Another thing I would love if Hero Game could implement that 
because I have here found a transmission tower and when I need one it would be nice if I could go in and actually click on it and then it helps me set a course for it so Um, so, so when you need things in the game, you could actually interact with something which uh, would give you some sort of assistance. Um, well, I don't know if it's a possibility to get a dialogue ever with them, but. Uh, If I ever do, I have a lot of questions and suggestions. And it's not negative questions, it's uh, just curious, curiosity sometimes. Uh, why did you do it this way and not another way? Uh, no, it's actually one thing I find a little bit disrespectful is, is they have been sitting doing a lot of work to, to create something and then the players start questioning what they have done. I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that we as, as players, we should sometimes uh, kind of accept the games as they are. Yeah, if there's flaws, those flaws should then be fixed but if the intention is is one thing and you don't agree with that well you have the choice of whether you want to play the game or not you you're not forced to do anything It's very difficult to see if there's any deposits on the ground. So, is, am I back at the... no? Oh yeah, that was the first one I found. Uh, maybe I should just one more landing and see if I could get something. one of those things that uh, you don't want to run out of it, so... Put it aside if you don't need it now, but at some point, you will. One thing I, I think I should mention is I've been actually following. There's a lot of questions about finding cobalt in uh, on Reddit at the moment in the No Man's Sky group, and uh, I was thinking about replying to the questions, but. I actually decided not to because a lot of the people who replied in that group uh, became quite arsy with the guy asking the question. But what I rather want to do is actually to use my own videos, my own stream to kind of help with those kind of things. 
Uh, cobalt can be found in deposits on certain planets, but they are relatively rare. If you really need cobalt, you need to find a cave. Is there a cave there? I don't know. Let me take a look. But caves are on all planets. You just have to look for them. This is not a cave. But, never mind. But if it was a cave, you would find uh, staglomites and uh, the other ones that are coming down or, or going up. Uh, and they will always contain cobalt, but it is a slow way of farming it. Granted. Some weird variations of um, turtles on this planet. Any ammonium nearby? Well, it's actually not too far away. So let's grab that as well now we're here and then we should be off. I'm aware my life support is getting low. Luckily, something we can do something about, so. so. I can do that before it gets too late. Oh, which one is it? I don't know, we can fill them all up. Just in case. I always use the resources before I use the um, technology with the fuel cells and uh, things like that. And the reason for that is. If I run out of resources, then those battery packs, life support and all that is very handy because it works on all types of protection where the resources only work on one kind. So it, it's a broader safety net uh, to have that instead of um, using them first and then you uh, when you come to a situation where you actually need them. So that's why I always use the resources first if I have. So back to the ship. And we all with my uh, with my uh, jetpack today so anything else we need in this system So, sh 
should we just jump on and see? Oh, actually, I haven't gotten anything from that in this system. So, just going to grab an exosuit slot here and then jump to the next and look for Korok system. to be a very very short run up to the exosuit person I'm not doing any other shopping now I tend to do that only once in, in a while because I, I, I normally would have so many things sitting which I need resources for uh, to to get there and uh, the more I put on the waiting list so to speak the more silly it really is because I just have to wait to, to, to uh, grind all the resources before I get there. yeah I do want to be as good and strong as I can but I don't want it to come with a price. I do think that uh, if you really want to sit and grind for each thing, go and say, okay, I want this, so I go and get these things. Yeah, it's fine, you can do that. But I must admit, I would rather take things as they come. This is a game of exploration, so if you stop doing that, you kind of cheat yourself, maybe? Uh, I, I'm a little bit <coughs> reluctant to actually use expressions like that, because um, the game is so open, so you can really... Where is it sending me? It's gig. I, I, I would like something which is not gig. I need a coax system there. So the thing is, you can play exactly like you want and uh, the way I play is uh, maybe not the right way for you or it is the right way it's your choice what I can do is I can actually help you with how the mechanisms work and then you take it from there so, space station coming up. Sometimes 
Cobol come with the platinum, gold and silver as, as the second element, so you might be lucky in that metal, but that, that, that's again, it's very often the lock of the draw, what's on the planet you're going to. It can be anything from him to death and return. So, this is a co work station. <coughs> and, uh, Kind of doing what I <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I'm very sorry. Where did I get that? Oh. Um Sorry for my voice today, it's, uh, I seem I've been talking too much. So, maybe I should not talk so much. <laughs> That's not going to happen. So, I think I take some radiation protection. I do find protection important um, to get you see I don't have any although oh, well, I have one so no 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 I wanted to move you so I that move that uh, now I do think protection is very very important so that one I can just sell hmm that's not a bad thing but uh, do prefer things I can actually use for something. Uh, that's, that's always the thing, hoarding is one thing, but uh, hoarding something you can actually get something out of, oh, it's not a bad thing. I do apologize if there's certain suddenly barking my dog is looking out of the window so if she sees something she thinks is uh, worth mentioning she will be shouting uh, starship shield module again I do like to protect myself as good as I can that be away at some point but even though this is only a C class uh, I will when I get something better move it along don't have anything useful there what's in here anything we can uh, is a gig who probably still want to be hired for our base, but uh, we already have one. That's something which uh, is a little bit annoys me. Oh, this guy is electrified. Uh, let's shake hands.
I'm not scared. It's one of these things, maybe I should be. Sometimes it's freaking dangerous out there. Remember when you walk around the space station, don't cheat yourself for these treats. I know that you get shit notes of navigation data, but uh, you also sometimes get nanites from them and everything adds up. It's, uh, it's the good stuff. That's what makes you able to get all your upgrades. So we need to find a core work that uh, can become a science officer. Uh, it's not him. Aggression, technology. He takes technology. Electronic. Can I find a word to say to him so I can get up in the standings with them? Unknown research entity EU research. <coughs> really useful but just add to the list of words it does help eventually Kovax unknown Kovax is a trap don't say that to them I told you earlier if you use the name of the race they all respond very badly to that, so I would take Starship. Oh, I didn't get anything out of that. So, a research entity, is that what we need? sitting here chit-chatting with them but <clears throat> when I have to talk to them then I might as well try to get the benefits out of it. The Kovacs again is a trap. So they upgrade. Uh, give me that ice. That's not bad. Entity. It's a little bit annoying. That's a word is a trap as well, convergence. So they get quite annoyed when you say that. I take a scan here. that would be some sort of well maybe I'm just stupid here maybe I'm just stupid I don't know
Well, I get their lights, but... I do have the option for scanning, but... Something comes up. Is it you? Thank you. God. Oh, he's not even one payment. It says to go back to our base, which is actually not a bad call at this point. Why is there no picture on? Uh, that's actually weird. We did upload it, didn't I? To make it all. I do like to have pictures from my bases because then I can actually place where they are and at least try to remember a little bit. So, you see, this base is rather dark. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to start cleaning up. And that means... Oh, I never sold that. Okay. That means going through these. But in the meantime, I'll also do a little bit on the base. One thing I'm going to do is, is put some freaking light on, which can make it a little bit lighter in here. I am not a big fan of big dark spaces. I feel these lights provide what do I need? I don't have pure ferrite. Uh, where is my storage? I could just go out and jump off, right? Problem is you can only activate it from this side. So certain things I will do this stack. Yeah, good. Uh, pure ferrite. That's the one I need for making light. I actually have quite a bit of. Platinum, is that enough to fix the ship? Uh, so I'm, I'm actually doing three things. Let's pack my ship there. That's uh, what are we with power. At some point, we don't have enough power to create because there's only two solar things. But 
we'll get to that. So, put these all in strategic places, and at least we have some light. And we'll all lie, that has to be connected. have been up here I toast. It's actually a lie because I do have and it's sitting here. This is uh, one thing which is absolutely useless in all contexts apart from cloaking the wiring. So, is it something you need? No. Only if you, like me, uh, don't want to uh, have it looking to minky, but see now there's light in here and uh, it all looks kind of nice. So I'm actually going to call the other ship and see because so they have more plat plat platinum than I expected. So. Or I can repair, the quicker we will get that out to fly, if we want to. I do prefer fighters, but uh, 
Dead I oh, Jesus. What? I'm sometimes thinking with the wrong end. Honestly. I don't know why I uh, didn't think about that because that's one thing you always need. Can I make antimat? I'm not sure. That is gone as well, so it's actually only this one which is sitting on the important part. Oh, I need a microprocessor. I actually don't think I can make them myself. Oh, I can. Well, It's, it's a little bit funny, but it's the first thing you learn from uh, the scientist we just hired. I'm running out of chromatic. Oh, well, we're getting good way through this. really getting good uh, speed through this so those I need to buy it's actually going quite got all the plat platinum ones so really good really really good that's actually brilliant so let's just see what we have in this bad boy that is useful if anything That one is one we need a lot of, so... We're actually running low on... That's because I'm stupid. That's fine. So we should actually be able to get rid of most of these as well. So this is really going well. That one that one is going to wait, wait. Gone. Lovely. Waiting. Breathing. I need some more power. That's actually not bad result. That's way better than I anticipated it would be. So that one goes over. That one goes back. That one goes back. These I need to process. Those go back. Don't mix uh, frost crystals up with storm crystals. It's uh, two very different things. Okay. And I need to, because I have stop on this ship that I actually need. So. 
für just empty that out. It's gold. That one goes to the exosuit. Silver. Something to sell. That one I will save until I need it. I should really put over there. So, that is the same. That is gold. So, let's make that gold and put it. So, the storage containers for. Okay, that's not the worst thing. I'm going to run through these as normal I do when it's in time because otherwise I will do it from the start next time uh, which will be Tuesday. On the other hand I can just leave it with it but uh, People have asked me why do you even bother, but notice, 20 units each, it becomes 2 times 14, which is 28, so it becomes more word, and it process into even more word stop, so it's all about making free money. Free money is uh, the best thing in the, in the game. But what I can do is I can actually leave that and uh, do a little bit of building or something. Maybe talk to the research guy we have now and see what he says. He might actually have something he wants us to do. me two blueprints which uh, is actually not bad so he wants me to harvest moral bulb and cobalt so we need to find some uh, caves. That will be next time. Oh, he'll be push, polishing the windows as well. Nice guy. So, is there anything we want to build while we... Uh, I'm actually tempted to put one more of these on the roof. I need the materials from there in order to build a brother for it. Uh, there. The great thing is when we one day get starships. These will connect with the uh, well, freighters. Freight they will connect with them. So need to be plugged in, and we have a second storage. Which is empty. Good, because this was getting full. I might have things in here which uh, is not really needed to be, but uh, it's a little bit, it's my freaking storage and I put it in what I want. 
No, I should be uh, nice and say, well, it is uh, actually, I already told you, I'm a little bit of a holder, so certain things I will accumulate and uh, it, it, it's, it's what really is going to happen. that out yes I did good so if I want more solar panels I need to get some materials for that it won't be now anyway uh, as long as it can run I'm quite happy Thinking if we should put a wall into the workspace there. sometimes but it's how it is so what did I need pure perlite I'm not sure I'm going to uh, make one of those um, make one of those bases here which uh, becomes a, a very cool one that people want to visit. I don't think it, it will be because it's not the best of places. Uh, it's not really where I do want a base, I think it's more like I would like, well, just to get the storyline going, that's why I built it here, and uh, it, I might go and, and, and uh, add a little bit to it here and there, and when I think, oh, that could be cool, but besides what I have now, it would be limited, to be honest. It's, it's not that I don't want to, to make a, a cool base and all that, because I do, but it has to be a place where I have some sort of purpose, if that makes sense. That is, uh, that is kind of what my base building in, in, in general is. Uh, find some place where I can extract the uh, resources or well whatever it is so. yeah. and we have uh, given them it's very dark in here with them maybe I should give them some more light poor guys I'm not very friendly uh, host here A little bit. Why is 
that not? What did I not do right? These are not connected. guys in that room is, is the ones which will actually is also a possibility. So good. Good, good, good. Well, I think we're going to kind of take this last of these. For today, um, got quite a number of things out of the way. We got the storyline a little moving a little bit better. Um, we didn't get any closer to Apollo, but uh, I assume we will that eventually. But we got our overseer and our science uh, guy, so. The base is up and running, and we almost repaired the uh, the other ship as well, the Explorer. So we actually got quite a bit. We didn't get far out in the um, uh, far out in in the universe, but then that will come. That will come. So on that, I will say thank you for watching, thank you for following those who have done that, and uh, I will be back Tuesday evening at 9 o'clock. I will normally be on 10 minutes before, but uh, in that window 10 to 9 to 9, I'm always before 9 at least. But I like to start up and make sure sound and the camera and everything is, is fine. So, that's it for today and I will want to wish you a very very Merry Christmas and I hope that uh, you had a good one and uh, see you next time, that will be Tuesday.